it. Got the T5, got the snow blower, and we got a pile of snow here that is still out in the road. Right here is the yellow line, and right here is the snow. So the goal is is to blow the snow off the road. So we're going to give it a shot here. I'm going to set you up over here where you can watch. doing a little snow blowing here and I don't get off to a real good start because this pile of snow right here that I'm messing with where I pushed it up earlier and it got wet it was packed about like a, a snowball so I would back into it and then the tractor would spin and I'd have to pull up and back into it again and I finally got it moved but where it was packed so tight and not loose fluffy snow I really need some chains on this tractor, but I don't have a set of chains. Well, I do have a set of chains that will fit this tractor, but they were on a, on the 6640, which was pushing snow in some parking lots in Carroll County and other places. So the, the, I'm, this isn't the only equipment. I'm not the only operator, and I'm not the only equipment out here running. We have graders running. We have other tractors running. Um, I know y'all just see my side of things, but there's other other parts to this that you're not seeing. I know a lot of people are asking me why we're not running graders. Well, we actually are running graders. You just don't see them because I'm not running a grader. So, uh, anyway, here in a minute we're going to move to another road. I get this one opened up and uh, uh, I talk about the uh, snowboard a little bit and the snow. So, uh, hope you enjoy. And uh, thanks for watching my videos. Talk to y'all later. All right, guys, here it is. 4.30 the day after the storm, and I still ain't got to go home yet and sleep. I'm still trying to get all these roads opened up, driveways opened up. Anyway, I got a road that's blocked here, and I got a, a snow drift. The farther you go down this road, the worse it gets. It's completely blocked on farther down here. So I'm going to start working on clearing this out. It's going to take a while. Anyway, I'm going to use a snow blower. Y'all can watch. Too fast right there. Now what I need to do is 
is go to creeper gear because I'm in first gear that this tractor's I'm in the lowest gear this tractor has in the regular range I gotta switch over to creeper gear which is pretty simple here I'll show you what I got okay first thing I do is put it in neutral so you push this button that's neutral you gotta hold the brakes and the clutch and you push this little snail over here and then you have a little snail pop up on the dash that's a snail it doesn't look like a snail but it's a snail I promise all right that means you're in creeper gear which is just basically a deep reduction transmission or kind of like a, another like a transfer case on a four-wheel drive pickup it, it drops it into a lower lower whole lower range of gears that it only goes like one mile an hour is the top speed in this range so everything is really slow and that's what you gotta have with this snow blower it's what i've learned is uh like i said you gotta go slow and steady and you listen to the snow blower and if the snow blower is groaning making a lot of noise you need to slow down if you hear a popping noise you need to slow down it means the chain is getting overloaded there's a there's a chain that runs two augers and when they start getting overloaded it starts making a funny popping noise so i'm gonna open the windows listening to the snowblower anyway it's got a it's got a soothing sound to it unless it starts getting rocks in it there is some rocks that you're going to hear go through this thing it's just going to be a little bit of gravel because this is a dirt road so there ain't enough ain't much i can do about it just have to live with it up on top of the snow so I need to pull up.
I've got two car widths through this hole now. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up some more while I'm here. It ain't gonna drift no more as heavy as this snow is. This snow really blows, I'll just tell you. It really, really blows. It's so heavy. I don't mean it blows through the snow blower. I guess that would work too, but it's so heavy and wet. You just you can't you can't do nothing with it. I mean, if you if you run over it, it packs so tight you can't hardly scrape it back up. It just it I ain't never seen no snow quite like it. Um, it when it came, it was a a wet or a, not a wet but a dry fluffy snow, and it was very um, very light easy to handle easy to push you can push mountains of it with the with the tractor at one time absolutely no problem then all of a sudden it got a little bit of rain on top of it i mean it wasn't much rain it was just a little bit of rain and it completely changed this snow to something that completely unmanageable i mean it added just tons and tons of weight to it Oh, I gotta go creeper gear again. Uh oh, getting a phone call. All right, y'all done missed about this whole snow blowing event here now. My wife called and I don't remember what I was talking about. I just kept on blowing. I've been talking about 10 minutes. Thing. It's getting hot in here all of a sudden. Woo! Who turned the heat up? That beeping noise has to do with me hitting the wrong button to change gears or not hitting the correct sequence of buttons.
reaper gear on this tractor is specifically for doing this. It was only like a $500 option. And I knew these tractors didn't go slow enough to do this type of work because the 6030, it don't have a creeper gear and I've blown, blown snow with it, with it before. And I, it doesn't go slow enough. Really, you have to ride the clutch all the time and I don't like riding the clutch. So I inquired about the creeper gear just for blowing snow and it wasn't extremely expensive so I went ahead and added it to the tractor and I'm in high this is the fastest it will go in creeper gear that's why I'm it's beeping it's telling me you're in the highest gear dummy you're in the highest gear why you keep pushing the button Hey guys, I'm just really, really tired and delusional. So if this video sucks, then, or if it blows, <laughs> if this video blows, give me some credit, man. I've been up for like 36 hours now without any sleep. And I'm not on drugs or anything else or coffee. It's just me. I need sleep. I need a bed. I feel like I'm in a fog, kind of. I thought I was going to get to go home, and then Dad. Dad hollered on the radio a minute ago and said we, we forgot a parking lot. Nancy's Nancy's Fudge, the candy factory. So I think I might have finally got him talked into doing it himself. I hate that, but he has went home and slept more than I have. I think y'all get the idea about the snow blower blowing snow and snow that blows and videos that blow and stuff like that. So I guess I'll let y'all go. Maybe I'll have some rest by the next time y'all see me. 